These people remember a time when there was plenty to eat. A time when most traditional food crops were grown not as drought tolerant, but as delicacies. Over the years, our eating habits have changed and other foodstuffs have become more fashionable to eat. Maize has replaced sorghum or millet for ugali, while bread has replaced sweet potatoes or cassava at the breakfast tables. But the effect of drought on the production of maize is of big concern in Kenya, where over 80% of land area is arid or semi-arid. Most of these areas receive low and uncertain rainfall distribution. This is why the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, CARI, together with other partners, is implementing a project making agri-food systems work for the rural poor in eastern and southern Africa. The main uh, you know, uh, objective of these projects is to ensure that technologies reach out there to the farmers. Technologies mainly that, uh, the technologies that can, can, can actually resolve the problem, particularly uh, the drought tolerant crops that uh, curry has been developing over the years. Through participatory processes, crops that counter food security in the study sites were identified as cowpeas, dolichos, green grams, lima beans, palm millet, pigeon peas, pumpkins, sorghum, sunflower and sweet potatoes. So our strategy here in the region is basically to support research that uh, would help farmers uh, to improve production, basically working at innovation, technologies that improve productivity, uh, issues of around uh, seeds for example, varieties, uh, planting methods, agronomic practices. But also we also need to understand the market opportunities for such crops. What is a common feature in the three sites? We selected the three districts because we wanted to have areas of high vulnerability and food insecurity, that is very south, to areas of medium level food insecurity where communities actually have enough food, but in some times of the, e of the year, the resilience is going down, that is Kenyaga district, and an aspect of the higher altitude areas, which are generally believed to be food secure, but we find we have pockets of communities who are actually food insecure in those districts, and that is the area represented by Ndaragwa Division of Nyandaro North District. Fewer initiatives have prioritized important traditional crops of high value, otherwise referred to as orphaned crops. Yet these are locally important for food and household nutrition and provide income opportunities for the most vulnerable and women in particular. We are halfway through the first term of the project, so we set off to the three locations to give feedback and also get feedback from the farmers. On the second day in each of the districts, we held a feedback workshop where all partners and the researchers had a chance to interact with the farmers. 
The farmers also provided useful inputs into the research process. Through this, farmers were involved in the development of indicators. We finished off with testing of different foods prepared either the same way or differently. It is our hope that the successful implementation of this project will definitely contribute to improved agricultural productivity, enhanced food security and accelerated pro-poor growth.